Let's talk about squatting for your pelvic floor. Now, if, if you've watched any of my videos, you probably understand that I don't really believe that there's one good way to squat. I feel like there are many different positions and some of them are more appropriate at other times and some are more appropriate at other times. So if we think about squatting with the pelvic floor in mind, we don't generally want you to adopt a super wide powerlifting low bar and bent over kind of squat position. Generally what I want is my feet underneath me a little bit more, my hips stay a little bit more directly underneath me, and I'm a little more upright. Okay, so not like this, let's do this, not like this, but like this. Okay, you'll see my ankles have to bend a little bit more and my, uh, my, all my joints kind of work together there. So if you're squatting with the pelvic floor in mind, maybe you do jump rope and you have to pee, or maybe you do pee. Um, if, you, if you need to tighten those muscles up or put them, I guess I'm, I'm trying to spoil the, the thing. Generally, it's not necessarily that they need to be strengthened. I don't know that Kegel exercises are generally the first place to go, they can help. But what I would first do is make sure that those pelvic floor muscles are positioned in a way that they can actually turn on. So oftentimes what we see is if, if somebody's back is really extended like this, you have this nice arch here, your muscles lose what we call a length tension relationship and they can't produce force in those positions. So if I'm here, my hamstrings are really long and the only way I can get them to help me is by making them even longer to stretch them out and to say, hey, stop me and then help me up. So hamstrings are a good example because it's something that everyone can kind of feel a little bit better, but you can also extrapolate this to pelvic floor musculature as well. And so when I do this and I stick my butt way back like this, but my shoulders and my upper thorax here are pointed upward that way, I don't have this canister, okay? I don't have my, my upper body on top of my lower body. I instead have them uh, moving separately from one another. And if I want to support loads, I want to compress those. I want to use the fluid that's in my stomach and try to compress it because it's going to be really resistant, right? It's going to help support me. So first step here is we have to position the hips. So generally you're going to be arched too much. What I'd like to see is a little bit of a hip tuck pull the hips back and I feel my lower abdominals turn on. If you don't feel them yet, hold there, reach forward a little bit and exhale again. <sighs> this time a little bit longer, a little bit harder. And now I feel them turn on a little bit more. So I can, I can hold this semi squat position and find those abs. And then what I can do is I can squat down, hang on to that position. And if I feel myself lose it like this, then I know to stop, okay? I don't wanna go into that position where I'm losing it. I don't wanna go into that depth where I'm losing it. I wanna make sure I maintain a good pelvic floor position the entire time. Okay, so big things to look for. Make sure you're feeling those abs throughout the squat and make sure you feel your heels down in the ground and you might even feel some hamstrings and some glutes helping you out. Quads also okay. You wanna feel the whole thing. If you don't feel a piece of those or even any of those, just keep trying. Do a couple reps. So what I like to do is uh, come on down, come on up, don't come all the way up where you're resting, but just come up to about here and just keep repeating reps and make sure you have it the whole time. Lots of times people will lose it halfway through, maybe even after a rep or two. So they might have one good one and then the next one, they'll stick their butt out more like this. Okay, so if you're doing that, if you're not feeling those abs holding on to you, then you know, maybe I need to freeze. Maybe I need to pause and fix my positions before I continue going. But again, Kegels, not a bad idea. Make sure you're getting the right positions first before you start to implement some of that stuff. And you'll, you'll challenge those muscles in a, a more effective position.